two applications in the spring as defense against crabgrass. Now, there's a lot of questions that come up with that. And the one is, especially early here in the spring, now we're at March 8, 9, 10 right here. And so a lot of the country, you're just now seeing your lawn. And you're just now getting out and starting your early spring cleanup in that. And your soil temperatures are starting to, to get close to that first milestone. But what happens is inevitably you're measuring or maybe you, you're using our my app, which is the Yard Mastery app. And it's telling you, hey, soil temperatures are crossing 50 right now, and it'll even notify you time to put down your pre-emergent. But what you're doing, because you're an astute lawn care nut, because you're somebody that's studying, because you can't wait to get out in the lawn, right? You're watching the the local weather, and you realize that, well, right now it's warm. We had this warm spell. It's great. I got out in the lawn. I'm walking around and, and, and exploring and seeing what kind of things are going on. My app says my soil temperatures have risen to 50, 51. Uh, I've ordered my prodiamine. It's gotten to me. I'm ready to throw down. But I know that this following weekend coming up, we're going to go back into a cold spell because that happens, right? And you realize it might even get down into the 30s overnight. So what happens if I put my prodiamine down now when the soil temperatures are saying they're at 51? It's good. And then over the next weekend, the outside air temps get down in the 30s, which is going to probably cause the soil temperatures to possibly drop back down into the 40s. They won't go back down to freezing. That's probably not going to happen. That'd be a, I mean, it would take a long time for that to happen. But maybe the soil temps go back down in the 40s. Is that going to hurt my prodiamine? The answer is no. The, those temperature fluctuations will not have any negative effect on the prodiamine at all. So you're good there. Just get it watered in. That's the key. And and it doesn't matter when you water it in either. Obviously, you don't want to water it in when it's 30 degrees outside, but you know, just get it watered in like normal. Just don't just pretend there is no temperature fluctuation. You're you're actually just hitting the window really early or right at the very beginning of the window. If you you know the first time you see soil temperatures crossing that 50, 51, maybe that's two weeks earlier than you normally would have done it, but that's okay. It's all right to be a couple weeks earlier. And again, cold weather that follows is not going to hurt your results at all. 